Today, me and Jack are excited to unbox some epic boxes with the creepiest fish you could find off the internet. We are gonna start off, it's it's smaller boxes here. So Small. it's not gonna be anything. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. anticipating a giant pond fish. No. So we're gonna start feeding the tanks because we gotta get these guys fed so they don't attack our new fish, so. Somebody who's really come out of their shell recently is Earl, our freaking grocery store lobster. He's been eating a lot at night and he's been eating shrimp, but today's peak, uh, 155 in the afternoon, all the lights are on, ring light. Let's see if this man can perform for us right now. So for those of you guys who don't know, Earl, our lobster here, we bought from a grocery store, a local grocery store market, that he was gonna be slaughtered and eaten for dinner. But guess what? The fish Jesus. guys came in and saved his life. So he's doing amazing in his tank. Let's see if he's gonna eat. Look at this. That's what he eats, bro? Dude, he is going, you, you watch this. I'll predict the future right now. You drop it, Earl kind of goes like this, and then he gets his legs and he funnels it into his I, chest. I don't think he's gonna and eat he personally. It. Watch this. You ready? Scary. Watch this. Not even joking. You watch what happens right here. No shot. Dude. No, he's scared, he's bro. He's horrified. Good toss. toss. Good toss. Good toss. Good toss. Good toss. Good toss. Good toss. Come on, Earl. Come on, Earl. What do you got for me? Here come the blue crabs, guys. The blue crabs, they smell it and they go nuts. Yo, okay. Oh, here we go. 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 We got movement. We got movement. We got movement. We've got movement, you guys. Dude. I think because he sees the other crabs. So Earl's very picky about eating during the day. For some reason, he'll only eat at night, but you guys have seen clips of him eating those crabs that you actually have in this tank. We threw a couple in there recently, and uh, he can just go at his leisure and just pick them off one by one. But uh, the other day, he was munching on one of those big big crabs in there, and he's, he's doing great. Moving on over here to our mini predator tank. This tank is literally loaded with such a variety of fish. It's probably the fa my favorite tank that we have inside this room because there's so much action sure. going on, right? For sure. There's isn't it nice? nice. Jack! Let's feed this guy. Our Emperor Snapper is getting so dang big. Look at that. He doesn't let anybody else eat. Nobody. The shark's even doing good in here. He's a little bit of a psycho. And the ghost eel that we got from the vending machine is also doing great in here, who eats like a champ. There comes so the all the fish are doing great. Oh my god. Oh, the eel's getting it. The eel's getting it. The eel. Oh my god, you're gonna lose your head, eel. Oh my god, look at the eel. Look at the eel. He's a python. He just Look at the way the eel eats. He like curls up in a big ball like a python. It's very, very strange. Eels are some of the weirdest creatures in the world. Now, as we're jumping into this box right here, I gotta give a shout out to Michelle, I hope I'm saying the last name right, Michelle Haynes, who tagged us on Instagram in a video of her with our shirts. She was show showcasing the shirts. She got two, she got the Don't Be Trashy and the Cut the Plastic. We love seeing those videos. So we, love it. we appreciate you. You're the shout out of the day. Remember, if you guys want a shout out, just go to Fish Guy Shop, get yourself some Fish Guy gear, and tag us on Instagram so we can check it out. We yeah, buddy. We love watching your guys' pictures and videos. It's amazing. So let's get into this box, Jack. What do you say? I, I, I would have to agree with you. What do you say, Chris? We jump right in with our thermometer here. Run it up. Here we go. We've run out of all Wind cutting up. tools. Rip it! Thank you. Open it. All right, Open let's it see what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, I'll go first. I'll dips first. Dips, dips, dips. Here we go. Not a fish. What on earth? That's not a fish. They sent us the wrong box. That is a. That's a frog. Mass. That is so freaking cool. That's not one, dude. What? That's not. Definitely not an albino. That's a platinum frog. That could be worth 20k. Dude, I don't. I'm a fish guy, not a frog guy. I, I don't think I like this thing. Is that thing worth 20k? It might be worth 20k. A freshwater aquarium I have at my house. I can put him in that. You want to put him in the freshwater aquarium at your house? I guess. I mean, where else are we going to put him That's in That's pretty pond? cool. Look at him from the bottom. He's going to get smoked. He's gonna got get... a chunky belly, dude. He's got a chunky belly. That's I... a fat boy. Should I hold him? Am I really going to hold this? You're thing? holding this. Ready? In we go. In we go. Olympic dive. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Calm down. He's going to jump. We forgot job, Jobs could jump. Frogs. Jobs. Fro jobs. Steve. Steve. Steve Jobs, the frog. Please just don't, don't jump into my I'm throat. Gonna he's not gonna cooperate, guys. He's gonna go flying. He's, he's not gonna cooperate, bro. There's no way I even get to hold this thing. Look at that, dude. That is one insane looking thing. I don't know how this thing lives <laughs> underwater, but he lives underwater. That is gross, and it's all over me. Hopefully he's not poisonous, because I'm literally just touching this frog I've never had before in my life. Gotta if anyone knows the exact name of this frog, we literally just sent a frog. Drop it down in the comments. I think he's boys with me though. Look at him, like dead ass. He's boys. He knows I'm. He knows what's good. I like him. I wish he was more white though. He's kind of gray looking. Okay, let's get on to the next box. You take him home, okay? I'm gonna take this guy home. Make sure you put a lid on that because uh, he's gonna be in our kitchen in about 20 minutes. All right, bag number one. Bag. Solid. What would you rate it? Weird species. It's a good frog. personality. It's not even a fish. You got a fat ass. Zero out of ten. Uh, zero. Give the guy some respect. It's a frog. I'm a fish guy. This is not the frog guy Two. channel. Two out of ten for the fat ass. For sure. Zero out of ten. Two out of ten. 
Okay, our next fish, I'll, I'll be the honors. Wow. What did we order? That is oh the- Oh my god, it's green. That is the weirdest thing I've ever Take seen. Take him out of the first bag. I have never seen anything. I wow! What Look at eel? that, dude! That is like an eel slash lizard Bro. slash snake slash goby hybrid. Dude, that looks like a snake. Like, look at the patterns on it. It's green I've with never like camo. Seen. It's like a dragon, it's though. It's like a python or something. You see its tail like a dragon? That is cool. This is a fish I've never actually seen before in my life. That is creepy as Like, actually, I don't know. I have no clue what this is. If anyone knows in the comments. We gotta get a band. Yeah, we gotta get a band, because I gotta hold this thing, too. I'm gonna hold everything. Here we go. With our new snake eel hybrid. Never before seen. Wow. <laughs> what? That is ridiculous. The eyes, everything just looks like it was pieced together. Sure. From, from a dragon with a snake with a lizard, everything, one body part was just taken and put onto this contraption. If this thing was red, it would look exactly like the freaking dragon from Mulan. And I love that thing. What's his name, Brooke? I don't know. Now, at first, I thought this thing was not very cool, pretty ugly, but now that I pick it up and look at it in the light, it's actually really freaking cool. First of all, I've never seen this fish before in my life, and it's got that really cool pattern with that neon green, like hints in there. It, it's actually a really cool fish, and he's gonna look really good in that tank. So let's get him in there and see how he looks in there. Guys, drop a name for him down below. This is a strange one right here for sure. One of the stranger things we've ever had. Welcome, sir. Enjoy. Enjoy! My god, he literally's gonna blend right in with the rocks. It's gonna be hard to see him. That is one cool fish right there. I don't even know if you can even call that thing a fish. More like a species. The grouper's coming to check him out. Look at that. He's like, what even is that? Cool, cool, cool fish, baby. Not gonna lie, that tank has some weird fish inside. But it's epic. It's I epic. Like I that tank. really, really like it. The fish we just put in, and then we do have that tote fish. Dude, put it here. We got some weirdos in there, and I love it. Next box, this one's kind of big, so maybe it is. there is a pond fish in here. Maybe I lied. This is a big box right here. A lot of water inside. Uh -huh. Let's go. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Huge big, fish. Big fish. Ah. Uh, we have a leak. We gotta get this in We're the gonna pond. take this outside. We'll see you all there. This bag has no air in it. Let's no, get to the pond. Let's go. We've made it outside to the big old 4,000 gallon pond. Now, this is some big news, and we well, need your all's help. It's, it's their opinion. It's, it's big news in the fact that we've been, you know, debating whether we want to do this or not. But you let us know down below, should we turn the 4,000 gallon pond right behind me into a salt water pond? Yes, you heard that right. A salt water pond right here with sharks and stingrays. We'll leave pots and pans in the pond they are now, and then we'll turn this one into, like, just a cool, cool variety of fish where we're not limited to size that we can get. So, if you guys wanna see that, let us know down in the comments. Actually, smash the like button. 10,000 likes on this video right here, we will turn the 4,000 gallon behind me into a saltwater pond. All right, let's get this guy out of his bag. Any guesses? I'm about to show you. Look at this. Big, giant pleco right there, you guys. Take a look at that guy, that's a full grown one. Regular. Paleco right there. These things are literally made of armor. I mean, absolute armor. If only you guys could feel what I'm feeling right here. You can go down this way, no problem. If you try to go this way, you are basically running your hands along a saw. Look at that. You can see the bottom of them. Look at the mouth on that thing. These guys are eating algae. These guys are eating wood. They're basically a cleanup crew to add to your pond. This guy is... He's a big one. This one has grown. This one's been around. That's a hog. That's a monster right there. That's a hog rider from Clash. That is. Look at this. That might be our biggest pleco. That's a nice one, dude. Look at that skin, look at that. bro. I know we say this a lot, but you literally could take this thing, put him in the grass, and leave him here for like two hours. And this guy, you could pick up, put in the pond, He'll and he fine. will swim away. They smell, though. Not it's ridiculous. Lie. It is ridiculous. All right. Welcome to your new home, big guy. Enjoy yourself. Right next to the big catfish. Oh, God. Jeremy, it's not uh, not food. You're not gonna want to eat that one, buddy. Epic box today. Let us know what you guys think in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Later.